Hi everyone, it's Donna with Rich Green Acres. And the snow has all but melted off the mountains above us. And I wanted to show you how we protected our plants from torrential rain, snow flurries, and freezing temperatures. All of our plants in the green boxes or in our raised beds with the uh, cold boxes on top survived. So let me show you that and then I'll show you what's going on in the greenhouse. Here we are entering the garden. There's still a mess back here. The wind has blown the chairs over. It blew my bench over. And most of my plants didn't, that were not in the cold boxes did not survive. Take a look over here. Some of these I have brought inside to the greenhouse, what would fit. It got pretty crowded in there. And I'll show you in a little bit what's going on in there, but those plants aren't too happy from the cold either. So we have our dinosaur kale, we have some tomato starts, the uh, elderberry turned black, and I don't know, I don't think it's going to make it because I don't see any more green on it at all. This tomato is worse for wear. The thyme I transplanted is a little blown over, but it looks like it's surviving. My mint did fine. This is one of the plants that the deer got to that was outside of the fence. I thought these little daisies were going to survive and make it, and uh, obviously something munched it. I have a feeling it was a deer. It could have been a rabbit. The lavender, that's Spanish lavender there. My oregano did okay. Cilantro is still, still there. My garlic chives aren't looking too happy. I had to pull out the purple basil and I trimmed back the sweet basil. It looks like it's going to go ahead and come back here. We have my cinnamon basil, which I have plenty more inside the greenhouse, but it didn't do too well. And all of my plants are getting these really nasty brown spots on them. And I'm not sure if it's a fungus or just from the cold. This oregano did okay. Everything that was in this bed pretty much was a goner except for my garden sage. This is just common garden sage that you use with cooking. I brought the white California white sage in. The uh, zucchini plant, I gotta do something about this. It's given me plenty of flowers but has never produced anything else. I believe there's two plants in here and it may just be overcrowded, so I gotta figure something out with that. My strawberry plants, they survived the cold. In fact, there's even a couple little strawberries here. And these are the boxes. I'm calling them cold box tops. I'm not sure if, you know, if somebody has a better name or a better way of describing this. This whole top piece comes off but it protects everything inside. And they are multifunctional, but everything inside has done fairly well. My peppers, they don't like the cold, but they are surviving. They definitely survived the freeze. I'm just gonna show you how they, they can tent up this way, or they can come completely off and leave this bottom rim here. Um, or they, the whole bottom rim can come down to what was originally there. So it's not so high. But this has created a wonderful wind block in here. I have shishito peppers, California wonder peppers. Um, I believe this is also my hot pepper bed on the end, which the hot peppers in the center there, those are my chocolate habaneros and they're not looking too, too good there. Um, I do have a sugar rush peach in the very corner and um, the others here are the uh, ghost peppers and they're, the ghost peppers look like they're doing okay. And in this bed I also have some onions planted. So we have this. These also lock down. It gets really, really windy here especially during the times we're having storms. In fact, our winds, as you can probably hear it right now, hopefully it's not too bad, 
our winds have been 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. As you can see, my bench and everything over there blew over. And these are light enough just to raise up with one hand. A little awkward, but it still works. And in here I have my um, tomatillos. I have some brandy wines. This brandy wine's probably going to get pulled out of here. I'm not too happy with it. My husband says give it a chance. Um, the top broke off of it, so I know it won't get too much bigger. And uh, I just want a healthy, happy plant. Back in here, we have some mortgage lifters. We also have some raspberries in the corner that are in um, red cups. Those need to be transplanted, but I was just waiting t for the weather to get a little better, which it looks like after today's supposed to be 62 and partially cloudy, but the sky is actually really clear. It's actually a really nice day. So I'm going to be out here working. I'll probably take these tops completely off in just a little while. It's starting to warm up. It's around 10 30 this morning I'm just gonna pop those in so we don't lose them everything's pinned together so it just easily comes apart the ground is just mud it's really disgusting before the rain started again we did get some of the weeds burnt down I'll wait for the plane to pass in this bed here we have more tomatoes, but I do have some cucumber melons or the Mexican sour gherkins that I'm trying to get growing. I have one still in a pot here that I'm trying to baby. The others haven't been doing too well. There's two, one on each side, and they just, they're not growing. So um, here we have two mortgage lifters. This one is filling out, looking pretty happy. It is getting some flowers on it. That one here, I trimmed back some of the uh, lower foliage that was uh, turning brown and curling. And it, it's, to me, <laughs> looking a little puny, but I think it's going to be just fine. My Black Beauty Tomatoes, and I don't know what's going on, all of the ones I've had, their leaves never fully developed, and it could be because the seeds are a little older. I think the pack came from 2017. Um, if anyone has advice on the Black Beauty, or if they're supposed to look like this, I see the lower leaves are starting to open, but on all the plants, the top leaves are just curled, and never, they don't look fully developed to me, even though they're still getting flowers on them. Toward the back, we have a couple more tomatoes, and I'll have to check my journal and write down what I planted there because I can't remember off the top of my head. Although, on the very end, I have a Bonnie's Best that I replaced one of the uh, Brad's Atomic Grapes with, and uh, I'll be replacing the other one shortly. I replaced the uh, Brad's Atomic Grapes that were not doing so well. Um, one of them I replaced with the Bonnie's Best that I picked up at our box store. The others, they're not doing well after the storm either. They just never rooted well. They never developed. Um, the one that I pulled out that was over here, um, the root system never, it never grew anymore. So I'm not sure what I did wrong with those. I started those seeds indoors. I have a few others that have, that look like they're doing great. Um, I believe, if I can remember right, these may be the uh, red, the blue gold tomatoes here. And again, here is what my black beauty tomato plant is looking like. These curled leaves that just never fully opened. It does have some flowers on the base here lower section of it but this one's getting flowers as well but I don't believe the leaves are supposed to look so puny and underdeveloped they're not opening and I don't know if that's our weather here um, I have a couple inside the greenhouse that that are doing a little better but not a lot better this bottom foliage 
um, the leaves here look like they're at least a little happier. They're still curled, not great. So if anybody has advice on that, or should I just pull them? Are they worth trying to save? Let me know. I really appreciate it. Over on this side, I don't think I finished showing you, but these last two tomatoes are also the bloom golds here. This is a green vernissage. And this one right here is a mortgage lifter. In just the last week or so, the whole yard has just been overgrown with weeds and grass from all the rain we've been having. The poor chickens have been in mud. They're out free ranging. The kids are having fun chasing them at the moment. <laughs> Luckily, the, the rooster is very friendly and doesn't mind. But here we are at the greenhouse. Here we are at the greenhouse. I've brought a lot in. There's not much room to walk around in here anymore. And I've turned off the sprinkler system. I think it's just with the wetness outside, the humidity has been close to 100 the whole time. It's The temperature in here has been about 39 degrees for the last week. It's been really cold outside. It wasn't getting much warmer inside. So um, everything looks pretty good in here, but I have noticed some of my tomatoes and things. Well, these, these just got neglected and they look horrible. And those were brandy wines that never got transplanted. Um, the others aren't looking too bad, but I'm getting a lot of spotting on my leaves. And I'm thinking that it may be a fungus even. This oregano is getting some yellow spotting on the leaves here. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on other than it may be a fungus just due to the fact that there is so much moisture. So this morning I came out and I did spray things down with a mixture. As you can see this poor uh, pepper plant here. This is a Thai hot pepper. One of the ornamental type with a really hot chilies. I'm just going to pick this leaf off. You can see all this. I'm just going to pick this leaf off and you can see all this spotting. And a lot of my uh, plants are getting the spotting. And I'm not sure if it's just the overabundance of moisture. Some of them have darker brown spots on them with the yellow ring around it, which I know is fungus. So I've gone ahead and treated them with a fungicide um, homemade which is peroxide, a mixture of peroxide and neem oil with a little bit of eco-friendly soap. The uh, lemon cucumbers have not done well. This is a blueberry here. I've set some of the tomatoes I brought in. Again, you can see another one of these with just some of these, the brown spots on the leaves. So I still have a lot to do in the greenhouse, a lot to get out, a lot to treat and take care of. This poor chocolate habanero here is not looking happy at all and it was overrun and still is overrun with um, aphids. And I did treat that this morning. Looks like a couple more of my peppers that I brought in are having aphid issues. So I'm going to have to take care of those later today. The tomatillos that are just leggy and ridiculously tall that were left in their little pots there. Um, they were overrun with aphids and that's one reason I didn't take them out and transplant them at the time. I probably should have. That was a bad on my part. Um, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. <laughs> but um, the leaves are riddled with holes. They no longer, well, they may have aphids again since I'm noticing an outbreak once more. But um, we... I've treated the aphid problem once, they went away, it looks like they've come back. This is a, I believe it is a Valor bean. And again, we're getting some spotting on the leaves here. Not too bad though. It didn't like the cold, I brought that one in the other day. Um, the raspberry bushes that I thought possibly were goners are completely coming back. This one looks the healthiest and happiest. This one I trimmed back to nothing and it is coming back. 
the blueberry bush here is going to get tossed today because it is not a happy plant and it is completely dry. There is no more green on its stalk here. <sighs> this was a brand new wine that completely got neglected and has sat here in the greenhouse. Um, sadly, it's going to get tossed. This is what a plant looks like when you don't take care of it and when you don't get it transplanted and these were planted back in January and I just didn't have the space for them at the time. I probably should have put them in other pots. Um, this bed here, the first batch of radishes I planted were doing great and this last go around, um, the second, after I harvested the first, the second batch is They've been in here three weeks and they're just not growing. I'm thinking the soil's bad in here or it's just too humid. Like I said, I turned off the mister system today. I'm going to leave that off for a few days and see if that makes a difference. The strawberries. I have a lot of mushrooms that pop up in the morning and they die back and they leave this black nasty tar all over everything when they die. So I try to pick them out every day and get rid of them. But they are not helping matters at all. Over here I have a couple of the Dr. Witchy yellow tomatoes, my black goji berries that I transplanted into these pots out of the little cells. Look like they may make a comeback. They were out in the cold. Um, Ethan's okay. carrot experiment, which that pot is way too short for that, that carrot, but it's definitely has happy foliage on it. We have some of the traditional red goji berries here. We have some cinnamon basil that still looks happy. Back there I have the white, the California white sage. It will be going out as soon as this weather warms up. Uh, the rest of the strawberries are doing okay. A lot of the black vernissage, the black uh, beauty tomatoes, they're just not not doing well. This is this plant right here with my uh, blueberry. The one in this pot here is the one that I've been babying and this is a black beauty and the leaves look so much nicer on it and so much happier. Um, I did give it a uh, some fertilizer the other day. I use a fish emulsion. I believe that's what it is that, that I fertilize with. And my plants usually love it. And it, it's not so strong that it'll burn the plants. Up here, if I can get to it. Up here, we have the strawberries that I planted from seed. They're doing well. These strawberries are the last two. Um, I got a total of four out of the 20. There's these two and the two in that other bed that aren't doing so well. I'm probably going to to move those out of the bed. I'm going to t clean out this bed, change the soil, probably go with Mel's mix in here because this is, was just some potting soil that I picked up at one of the big box stores and we didn't amend it or do anything else to it. So that's probably why things aren't too happy in here. I do have a couple of uh, onions growing at the very end. My nasturtiums, they need to be moved out. They need a little more sun. We've been picking the flowers off and eating them, and they are delicious. They remind me of honey with a little bit of spice at the end. And the leaves are very spicy um, and have a little kick to them. And I, But we really enjoy them. They're great on salads and things. Yesterday, we harvested some kale off of the kale plants in here, and we mixed that in with our scrambled eggs and bacon. And Mr. Peepers does not belong in the greenhouse. Can you take Mr. Peepers out? Yeah, we can hold Mr. Peepers now. He'll let us. Yeah, just Peepers be careful. Peepers will he... let us hold him. He looks mean, but he's actually oh, nice. Oh, he's a vi he is a gentle giant. Yeah. We tried letting the little chickens out, and the roosters just fight. So that's a no-go. The hens do fine, but we either have to keep peepers separated, or we have to keep the five roosters in that cage separated from peepers. And mom, 
peepers looks mean, but he has a gentle heart on the inside and he's nice on the inside. Yes, he is. Because he's a cool chicky, a cool duty. Yep, all my flowers except for the geranium out here um, were eaten or have just not survived the cold. So I, I feel pretty bad about that. But uh, this is what we're looking at, what we're dealing with. It looks like finally our weather is about to change. In fact, today is supposed to be fairly nice. Tomorrow is supposed to be fairly nice. We do have one more day this week of a 40% chance of rain. Hopefully it's not too bad and too cold. And then next week we're supposed to get up to 85 degrees. And then the heat's just going to start hitting. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Thankfully, we don't get too many days over 100 degrees here. Things are looking up. The sun's out. The chickens are happy and free-ranging today. And we thank you for watching. Come back next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Ring that bell so you get future updates. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.